sure you are very bored at the moment. So once again, let's just go through the new poem. Poem is called Daarom. Okay, a little bit more difficult than the one of yesterday, but let's go through it. Okay, so the title Daarom asks for an explanation. Okay, so Daarom is because. Okay, so because and then you follow an explanation. So we say in Afrikaans, it's a verduidelike. So let's just read through the poem to see what they are explaining or what the because is. Daarom. My profiel is a spiel skrikker. My vel, a dermate loog se droom. My arms en bene mislank in die pad. My boe lip se dons bleek. Tis in meisies die groot krate. Daarom antwoord ek nie met my deurslaan stem nie. Kruip ek eerder onder my kuif. On onderhandelbaar weg. En oefen ek achteraf my afsak broek staf. Daarom bid ek die tyd om. En tussen donker ek deur toe. Ok, so the poem is about a teenage boy going through puberty. So we've all been there. We've all been in that space in high school where you are awkward because changes are happening to your body. So you can now think what changes did your body go through when you hit puberty. For some of you, you might have gotten a raspy voice all of a sudden. And whenever you address people in a open space, it's almost as if everybody gets a fright when you start speaking because you don't have control over your voice yet. For some of us, it's breaking out. Your skin broke out and you realize, oh, yeah, I have a few pimples or so on. And we all know that you can't wear makeup to school, so you can't even hide it. For others, especially for girls, we get a more full figure. So you get what they call a lady body. So that also makes you feel a little bit more uncomfortable because all of a sudden your body changes. So going through puberty isn't a nice experience for the most people. And that is what this poem is about. This um, writer is writing a poem on what happens when you go through those changes. Okay, so the whole poem has voornaamwoorde, besittelike voornaamwoorde. Now hopefully you guys know what that is. We did it last year. Besittelike voornaamwoorde, besittelik means owning something. So it starts with the word my. So if we go to the poem, it says my profile. So he's talking about himself. Okay, not someone else. So it is a first person um, speaking or a ek spreker. Ek spreker. When you talk about yourself. Okay. So... It is, obviously, as I've just said, it is a poem about a teenager going through puberty. And what happens when you go through the puberty? Okay, so the changes that happens, the changes in your body, the changes in your voice, even changes in your mood. You would have realized that all of a sudden you're a little bit more moody, you're a little bit more on edge. This is because your hormones in your body is very mixed up at this stage. Okay, so the first paragraph there you will see consists of six lines all together. Now, as I explained, it has an act speaker, so a first person. It is a teenage boy speaking to the audience about his own body changes. Lichaams veranderinge. Okay, so body changes, what goes on in your body and what changes it. And that frustrates him because these changes start quite rapid. Okay, changes in puberty does not develop over time. It's like rapidly one morning you wake up and then you have pimples. Or you wake up and your arms are uncomfortably long. Your nose is longer. Okay, so these changes happen quite rapidly and it is annoying this teenage boy. Okay, 
So now we read the first line. The first line says, my profile. Okay, my profile. So if you look at a profile, it is the outline of a face or a body. If you have to put a profile picture on Facebook, you put a, pro, a picture of yourself on there. So your profile is an outline of your body. Okay. So he's obviously talking about his own profile. Okay. The next line says, a, a spiel skirker. Okay. So I want you guys to do this at home. Go to the mirror first thing in the morning before you've brushed your hair, before you've um, removed your makeup completely from the previous day, before you've brushed your teeth. And I want you to wake up before your eyes are even completely open and look into the mirror and smile. Okay. So for some of us, we, you look very beautiful when you wake up in the morning, but that's not the case for all of us. So you look in the mirror and you smile and you will see you almost really get a fright. You're like, whoa, is that me? Okay, so that is a spiel for Schrikke. Okay, so the mirror gets scared. Spiel is mirror. For Schrikke, Schrikke is scared. Okay, so it's almost like you get a fright when you look in the mirror. Okay. So there you can see the little picture of that first face you see in the morning before you've changed and put on makeup and whatever. Okay. Line three. My fell a dermatoloog se droom. Okay. Dermatoloog is a dermatologist. And the dermatologist does what? Looks at your skin. Okay. Looks after your skin, skin diseases, whatever goes on with your skin. So if you have acne, you would go to a dermatologist to prescribe whatever medication to you. Okay, so this person says that his skin is a dermatologist's dream. Now, obviously, a dermatologist would not like someone who has all nice porcelain skin because they won't be able to prescribe anything to them and they won't go to them. Because if you don't have a problem skin, you go and go to a dermatologist. So someone with a problem skin goes to a dermatologist. That's why he says his skin is a dermatologist's dream. So obviously from this, figuratively, we can um, an analyze the line and say that this person has a lot of pimples. So we know a lot of teenagers actually struggle with acne. That is when the pimples in your face are so rapid that it's all on top of each other. Okay. So there we can see a little picture of someone looking, a dermatologist looking at a face, and there is an acne on skin. Okay, line four. My arms in Vienna miss like lang in the butt. Okay, so this um, happens more to boys than girls. That is how we would also know that this is a teenage boy that they're talking about because we can see the problems relate to a boy more than a girl, but there's never a gender um, specific word that they use in the poem, but because of what they say and the problems that they deal with, we can see that it's a boy. So boys are very short. If you think about when you were in grade eight, um, you were a lot shorter than all the girls in your class. The girls topped you and even in primary school, more so in primary school, okay? But when boys reach uh, about 16, 17, all of a sudden they grow. That's why a lot of boys will get stretch marks on their knees and elbows and so on because it's a rapid growth. As I explained to you guys, puberty is not something that happens gradually. It almost happens overnight. So all of a sudden you grow and that's why you get the stretch marks. So your limbs become longer. Because you will think when you were in grade eight, you were tiny, you were only a tiny little boy. And all of a sudden you grew. And so some of your limbs grow quicker than others. So some people say you must grow into your limbs. Okay, so your limbs will maybe grow first and then the rest of your body. 
Okay, so that is an uncomfortable thing because you feel all of a sudden you have these long arms and it's almost like they're in the way. They bump everything. You turn around and you bump a girl or whatever the case may be. And that is because your limbs all of a sudden grow. Okay, boys, you will know about this. My boele so dawns bleak. Okay, so dawns is fluff. Okay, so it's like there's fluff at the top of your lip but we know that it's not full yet that first few hairs you get on the top of your lip when you start growing facial hair is like little fluff things okay they're not full so that is what this guy is talking about and it makes them feel uncomfortable because you can't have these two hairs shave and some parents don't let you shave and they say no you must wait until there's full facial hair or whatever the case may be for ingrown hairs or whatever. Okay, so they say it is bleak. Bleak means that it is a white color, a more white color, so a, a lighter color. Bleak is light. Okay. So you can see that makes him feel uncomfortable. Okay. And now I've heard, I won't know because I'm not a boy, but it's also quite itchy when it just starts coming out. So you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, line six. This and Macy's the groot krater. Okay, so you feel uncomfortable, especially around girls. Okay, so yeah, is the first indication maybe of it being a male because he's referring to a girl. So yeah, we can say that is that um, explanation. Okay, so. For some people, you might feel that girls are all of a sudden more attractive, attracted to you because of the facial hair, because of the voice, so they might find that very attractive. But for you as the person going through the change, it feels like there's a crater all of a sudden between you and girls. Girls don't like you. Girls don't even want to look at you. You're a little bit gross at this stage for them. So... All of these things feel like a barrier between you and a girl. But ironically, it's not like that. Because you do grow up and you do go through pu puberty so that you are more attractive to the opposite sex. That goes for girls and boys. The changes that you go through are actually a good thing. But for you, it doesn't feel like that. Because change for anybody isn't always the best thing. Okay, so that is the first part. So yeah, we can see... That this person is complaining about his physical traits that he's not happy with going through puberty. Okay, the next part also consists of seven lines. Consists of seven lines. Okay, yeah, we go a little bit deeper to what happens to the body. So not outly where you can see, but now the voice that is changing, um, why you put that long fringe in front of your face to ensure that no one looks at you, okay? And then it's almost like he is praying for this stage of his life to pass, for this awkward puberty stage to pass. So that is the content of the second part. Okay, so line seven to eight. Darum antwoord ek nie met my dear slaan stem nie. Okay, so boys, this I know for the majority of you is very awkward. That stage where your voice breaks. Okay. All of a sudden you have this deep voice and you don't actually have control over it. And sometimes it like jumps and you have a little bit of a squeak as well. So now he avoids talking to anybody. Because if nobody hears what he's saying, then nobody can judge him about his voice. So that's what this is about. So he stops answering questions. He now just pulls back and becomes an outsider because he doesn't want to speak to people and let them hear what his voice sounds like. Okay, line nine. Krijg ek eerder onder my kijf on onder handelbaar weg. Okay. So it does explain the fringe that some of you boys put in front of your face. It's too hard. You hide behind that fringe that is long. And girls do the same. 
girls with a very long fringe it's sometimes to hide the pimples that they have on their forehead or like in this case it's just to hide your face you know if i can't see you through my um, fringe you can't see me type of thing okay and the word in brackets on on the handlebar so it is not even something that you are willing to compromise you are not going to compromise this. You are going to hide no matter what. Okay, so there it says the brackets. On on a runner I'm not even going to um, compromise on this. Okay, so we know that words in between brackets gives you an explanation. Okay, extra information. And that's why it says, it's not, I'm not going to compromise on this. Okay, I'm going to hide, not going to compromise. Just a further explanation on it. Okay, line 11 and 12. In oefen ek achteraf, my afsak broek stap. Okay, so, boys, you will know this. Look at the picture. Boys, you can't pull up their pants. Okay, you guys all know this is something that really annoys me. So, pulling down your pants and walking with that, because I'm pretty sure it is a trait to walk with your pants almost below your bum. Okay, so now you have this little bit of a bounce to it. it also, it's also a gimmick to distract from what people see. So, you would rather let them look at your half-down pants and strutting than look at your face, look at your body features. So this is also a self-conscious trait that people use to distract them. Okay, then here is a repetition of the title. Darum bid ek die tyd om. Okay, so it's an explanation. Give an explanation because of all of this. I pray that the time goes by quicker. Okay, so remember I said in the beginning, the title asks for an explanation. There we don't know what the explanation is yet by just reading the title. But when we get to the last line of the second paragraph, that becomes clear. So because of all these things, because of all these uncomfortable changes, because of my body, because of the way I feel, I want to pray that this awkward time just passes quickly. Okay, and then the third line is once again on Leon Blossom. Just like the, the poem from yesterday, it is on Leon Blossom. So it's once again an emphasis on what do you do. Okay, so while all this stuff is happening, while I'm praying, while I'm going through puberty, what am I doing? And it says in this line, and this is Donner ek dier tu. Okay, so yes, donner is a swear word, not something we should be using. Okay, donner means going to the door quickly. Okay, so and rapidly. You are not wasting time rapidly going through this to the end because a door often indicates an end of the journey. If you get to the door, you at the end. Okay, so it means rapidly going to the end. Okay, so once again, not a word would we should, that we're supposed to use, but in the effect of the poem, it actually works quite nicely. So I want to rapidly get through this and get to the end point. Okay, cool guys. So that is what I have for you at the poem. As usual, I'm going to go through the questions with you, go through the answers. But for now, we've gone through the whole poem. You know what it is about. All of the notes that I gave you in here is in your guide as well. So go through it again and then try and answer the questions. See if you can answer the questions correctly before looking at the answers. Just looking at the answers are really not going to help you. So take a break, take a five minute break quickly and do the questions and then watch the answer video. Thank you very much.